named for the god of war. It is the most similar planet to Earth in our entire solar system, perhaps the only other planet that could support life, human or otherwise. What can explain the inhuman discoveries made on Mars? Bizarre structures, possible alien remains, and what could be an alien figure caught on NASA cameras. Is mankind on the verge of discovering alien life on Mars? Or have we already found proof of Martian civilizations? This almost appears to be a whole city unexplored on the surface of Mars. Tonight, the shocking truth of a world that could hold the key to our past and our future. Join us as the incredible secrets of alien life on planet Mars are unsealed. It was the most ambitious mission of its kind in the history of space exploration. A $2.5 billion project that many hoped could answer the ancient question, is there life on Mars? The Curiosity rover is essentially a moving laboratory and we can collect evidence off of Mars that we've never been able to collect before. But the Curiosity rover is only the latest explorer of a program that began in 1971. Since then, 16 probes have successfully reached Mars, some returning crucial evidence that the red planet wants or may still be able to support life. In 1975, Viking orbiters showed geological evidence of rivers, lakes, and oceans. These images painted the picture of an ancient Mars that may have once held an abundance of alien life. When they discovered that there was at one time possibly water on the surface of Mars, that blew open the door of possibility for there being extraterrestrial life in our solar system, let alone the universe. Could Mars in fact have been much more like Earth than we once believed? The first color photographs of the Martian surface were taken by a rover in 2004. The images revealed that the red planet was anything but. One of the things that shocked people in 2004 when NASA and JPL released these photos was this wasn't the dead planet that we've been led to believe with a brown sky and brown dusty surface that when you look at this bluish sky and when you look at the surface of the Martian uh, ground it very much resembled the surface of Earth. Could our exploration of this alien planet uncover the ultimate extraterrestrial secret that intelligent life once or perhaps still exists on Mars and that the evidence has been right before our eyes. Unsealed case file, the skull of Mars. In 2004, NASA landed two rovers on the surface of Mars, Spirit and Opportunity. They were sent to explore opposite sides of the red planet. And while Opportunity sent back many interesting photos, it was Spirit which captured what some believe is our first glimpse at an alien face. In this picture, we see a shape sitting on the ground. It has familiar features, eyes, a nose, even teeth. Could this be, as some believe, a humanoid skull buried in the Martian soil? Alien theorists believe that this could be evidence that either humans had visited Mars at some point in the past or that some other humanoid alien race has existed there for thousands of years. Is this object in fact an ancient fossil and what could be buried alongside it? Coming up next, the search for answers could reveal not only evidence of an alien being on the surface of Mars, but an entire civilization. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. 
photographs of Mars reveal alien landscapes remarkably similar to Earth and unexplained images that look terrifyingly human. But the biggest question remains, is there alien life on planet Mars? All the evidence points to the fact that Mars could have very well supported life in the past and maybe supports alien life to this very day. July 25th, 1976. The Viking 1 orbiter photographs a Martian terrain known as Cydonia. Of the many pictures taken that day, one would be seen as a sign that we may not be alone in the universe. A human face etched into the surface of Mars. Well, the face of Mars doesn't resemble, it looks like a human face. I mean, it's looking up at the stars, at the heavens, but it looks like a human face. No mistaking it. And this thing has two eyes, a nose, a mouth. It has something that looks like a headdress on it. And this face, by the way, is about three miles, you know, top to bottom, chin to head to, to top of head, and, and about two miles across. So it's a very large object, it's not small. Alien theorists propose that the face of Mars could be a monument constructed by an ancient alien race, an invitation or a warning to visitors of Mars. Skeptics say, well, why would an alien race make something like this? Well, who knows? Uh, it could be for a number of reasons. It could be as a monument to uh, maybe they knew a cataclysm was coming and they wanted to they wanted to leave something that would let people know that they were there, let somebody know that they were there. It could be as simple as art. I mean, why do we create art? Why do we create sculpture? Shockingly, the most recent images of the face reveal nothing more than a mountain of sand. Was the face a mere illusion? Or could it be that the face was purposely destroyed using explosives on board the Mars Observer? A NASA statement from August 21st, 1993 reports that NASA forever lost contact with Observer over the Martian surface, followed what was believed to be a fuel rupture. The next time the face was photographed in 1996, its features had vanished. It may be mere coincidence, but some believe this is just the most recent evidence of a cover-up to protect the truth. Alien theorists believe that this could be evidence that either humans had visited Mars at some point in the past, or that some other humanoid alien race has existed there for thousands of years. In fact, several photos from Mars have revealed what many believe are manufactured objects and signs of a ruined civilization. One of the discoveries was an object known as the Ammo Box. Photographed by NASA's Spirit Rover, the origins of this seemingly metallic object remain a mystery. The ammo box seems to be made of some sort of metal, and every edge meets at a 90-degree corner. How is that possible if it's a natural formation? This and similar evidence have led theorists to believe that Mars may have been home to an ancient alien civilization. But could the ultimate discovery be an ancient city with a connection to our home planet. Unsealed case file, the pyramids of Mars. Of all Martian regions, none has been more rich with the possible proof of civilization than Cydonia and the pyramids of Mars. In the middle of this barren planet, there stand three structures that resemble almost exactly our pyramids in Egypt. Indeed, the shape of the pyramid has been repeated on Earth throughout multiple countries for millennia. The connection between the pyramids of Earth and these so-called pyramids of Mars could be seen as evidence of an extraterrestrial connection to the human race. If these structures on Mars were manufactured by some sort of alien beings, what could that mean for our race? It could mean that we have neighbors who obviously thousands of years ago came here to visit us and left influences on our people and our cultures. The largest of the Martian monuments is known as the DNM Pyramid. It spans almost two miles and stands half a mile tall. Shockingly, 
the axis of the pyramid is nearly in alignment with the north-south axis of Mars, just as the Great Pyramid of Giza is aligned with the north-south axis of the Earth. And yet, even if the pyramids of Mars could be explained as natural, it would be difficult to explain why sitting near the base of the southernmost pyramid is a sphinx. Coming up next, an intergalactic war and possible images of an alien being lead to the ultimate question. Is a Martian invasion in our future? Find out when we return. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Humanoid faces seen in the Martian terrain. Images of possible alien life. Objects that seem to defy natural explanation. The evidence of alien life on Mars raises questions about an advanced civilization and their mysterious disappearance. Can the answer be found within pyramids eerily similar to ancient Egypt, right down to the presence of a sphinx? The Sphinx on Mars is a monolith that was discovered in 1997 by the Pathfinder mission. If you examine this photograph, even for just a minute, it's very clear that you can see a defined head, body, and even arms. It is a form remarkably like that of the Great Sphinx of Giza, with a head that appears to be decorated in an Egyptian headdress. And all of this within miles of the so-called face of Mars. When you think about an alien race building a giant face on the surface of their planet, some may laugh it off. And I always say, well, why would you laugh it off? Look at civilizations here on Earth stretching back thousands of years. You've got giant structures in the middle of Egypt, one of which just happens to be a very large uh, face on the Sphinx. You've got other structures from other cultures that are being built that you can only see from the sky. So when you look at those commonalities, you have to see maybe there's a connection between life 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 years ago here on Earth and quite possibly a life starting on the planet of Mars. If there truly was an ancient civilization on Mars, who knows how advanced they may have become before extinction. Could the ancient pyramids of Egypt have been constructed as a cultural link between the two societies? And if so, how did their society come to an end? Many theorized by the scientific advances that we're making studying the Martian surface that in Mars's past, that it's been hit multiple times by asteroids. Now, when you talk about huge asteroids striking a planetary surface, the effects of that are pretty detrimental. Many believe that happened on Mars, maybe on a grander scale. Instead of 10% of the world's life or the planet's life surviving, that you had zero survivability. Possible evidence of this catastrophic event can be found right on the surface of Mars. Concentrated on one side of the planet are over 3,000 craters, measuring 20 miles in diameter. If an asteroid a mile across were to hit the Martian surface, it's estimated that that would have the impact and the force equivalent to a one million megaton nuclear weapon. That is 10 million times the force of what was released in Hiroshima. The debris raised by such an asteroid could block out the sun, effectively killing all life on the planet. But could there be another explanation for these enormous craters? One that points to a very advanced ancient civilization on Mars and a Martian nuclear apocalypse. Ancient Roman records point to accounts of what was referred to as fire in the sky. Both Romans and Babylonians named it for their god of war. Was Mars once home of a violent and distant battle between an alien species? And could any survivors still be alive today? For years, we've been debating about what the Martians might look like. Science fiction gives us all kinds of different variations of what these aliens are. But in 2008, the Spirit rover gave us our first clear picture, which could show us who the Martians are. Unsealed case file, the creature 
of Mars. In 2008, the Mars Spirit rover transmitted a panorama back to Earth from the West Valley of Mars. At first look, this photograph appears to merely be a stunning view of the Martian terrain. But closer inspection exposes a chilling revelation. A humanoid figure seeming to walk just behind a ridge. It appears to have a head, a torso, even legs caught in mid-stride. Could this real photographic evidence be a creature captured alive on the surface of Mars? If this is truly a living creature, we could be looking at a post-apocalyptic Martian survivor, a rare example of an extraterrestrial species still hiding on an alien planet. You may think we'll never know, but if expert predictions are right, the invasion of Mars could be just around the corner. Coming up next, the event that could put you face to face with an alien race. Earth invades planet Mars. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. The time to act is now. There are three simple steps you can take to unseal the truth. Follow on Twitter. Follow the Unsealed Twitter feed to receive breaking news of the latest alien happenings as they develop. Tell your story. Have you seen a UFO? Whatever we encountered affected our memory. Upload stories and pictures to our interactive map. Join the movement. Get the Unsealed bracelet and a unique code hidden underneath to access exclusive content. Stop living in the dark. It is definitely coming this way. Get involved in the fight to unseal the truth. Now. For decades, man has feared the potential invasion of Earth by Martians. But a twist of modern science could bring humans to invade Mars. In January 2013, the Mars One was announced. It could be the first private spacecraft to land on the Red Planet. It is scheduled to arrive on Mars within the next 10 years. And its cargo? A volunteer group of human colonists from Earth. They will live on and develop Mars for the remainder of their lives. These brave pioneers could explore an alien world, beginning a peaceful colonization or an intergalactic war. But at last, we may answer the question, is there life on Mars? This is Unsealed Alien Files. Exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Do aliens walk the Earth? Did man really walk on the moon? Are top secret high-tech weapons operating against the law and under our noses? There's evidence that NASA may have doctored the photos. Conspiracies have always been part of our history and our folklore. From unproven plots rooted in paranoia, to the documented cases that seem too terrifying to be true. The whole thing was a setup, a complete and utter setup. From jet trails to Jesus to JFK, we're counting down the most infamous cover-ups and secret schemes in history as the top 10 conspiracies of all time are unsealed. What is the history you were taught in school was all a lie? Is our government controlled by a secret society? Welcome to the world of conspiracy, where cover-ups, secrets, and hidden agendas all trace back to a single source. We're about to unseal the secret files the government doesn't want you to know about. This is Unsealed Conspiracy Files. July 20th, 1969. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin accomplish the greatest feat in the history of mankind. Or do they? Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is the moon landing hoax. The year was 1974, two years after the final moon landing of Apollo 17. A small self-published book was released with the title, We Never Went to the Moon, the $30 billion Swindle. It was one of the first to publicly question NASA's official story. There's a theory that Stanley Kubrick 
faked the moon landing in a studio. According to the book, the astronauts were merely actors on sound stages, promoting an elaborate hoax so the U.S. could claim victory in the space race. We were so engaged in the space race that any win, any victory, would have helped morale. No planning. Their evidence the moon landing never happened? Inconsistencies in the photographs of the mission. Not enough dust in the air upon landing. Missing or incomplete records and radio transmissions. If I worked at NASA, I would say, look at all the evidence. If you don't believe that, you're not going to believe the sun's going to rise the next day. Despite years of point-by-point -point debunking and patient explanation by experts and engineers, between 10 and 25 percent of the population still doesn't believe the moon landings were real. An unthinkable betrayal of trust, a panicked and clumsy cover-up, a paper trail that exposed the entire shameful affair. All-time conspiracy number nine is Project MK Ultra. The MK Ultra program was the main research project within the Central Intelligence Agency in regards to mind control. MK Ultra is started in 1953 by CIA director Alan Dulles. The program allegedly includes the use of mega doses of hallucinogenic drugs, shock therapy, and other attempts at brainwashing. Terrible things were done. Uh, massive drugs were given to innocent people, including the staff of the people working on the project. Unsuspecting people were, were given LSD and other things. Some information was gained at great human cost. The subjects of these experiments? Civilians and military alike, many of whom aren't even told of their participation. One victim is even the wife of a Canadian member of parliament. Nobody explained it to me. Nobody ever asked me if I was willing to do it or anything. By the 1970s, word of the CIA's secret program begins to leak out. The CIA tried to erase all this. They shredded most of the documents. About 20,000 pages survived because they were mislabeled as financial information in the CIA archives. They were released in the 1970s during a congressional hearing, which is finally when all the MK Ultra information came to light. A sordid chapter in U.S. history comes to a close in 1977. But the damage is done. Not only to the reputation of the CIA, but to the thousands of victims of MK Ultra. Long thought to be a figment of the imagination of fanatics, this top secret airbase turned out to be all too real. And that's why it's all-time conspiracy number eight, Area 51. Area 51 is a top secret military installation about 90 miles northeast of Las Vegas, Nevada. The U.S. government officially admitted to the existence of Area 51 in a 1995 document. That admission only served to inflame the conspiracy theorists. Other than only saying that they test top secret technology, they really will not elaborate what's going on inside that facility. From time travel to teleportation, the alleged activities at Area 51 seem limited only by the imagination. Since the rumors of Area 51 had started circulating, people have come out to claim that they worked inside the facility, and there's a lot of operations going on, which includes back-engineering alien technology. We're only just getting started when we return. Two conspiracies that may destroy the world, and another that may someday rule it. Unsealed. Conspiracy Files. Welcome back to the world of conspiracy. This is Unsealed. Conspiracy Files. We're counting down the top ten conspiracies of all time. Next up is a government facility some say could destroy the world. Its full name, the High Frequency Active Aurora Research Program. But conspiracy number seven is better known by its nickname, HARP. The HARP 
installation is a 35-acre facility that has over 160 antenna arrays all linked up together. It has a 3.6 million watt transmitter in which it shoots ELF or extremely low frequency waves into our ionosphere. According to the government, HARP is merely a research station studying the ionosphere and its effects on radio wave transmission. But according to a patent many believe is connected to the project, that's not the whole story. This patent has all sorts of military applications. It can be employed as an early warning device, and it says right here, it puts unprecedented amounts of power in the Earth's ionosphere. We're talking about a weapon. So it's very interesting that all throughout this patent, it's actually spelled out in black and white the actual uses for this to be a, some type of weather modification. Controlling the weather to controlling people's minds, HARP has been blamed by its detractors for affecting the environment in both devious and detrimental ways. With weather manipulation, you can turn a cloudy day into a sunny day, you can turn a sunny day into a rainy day, even create a tornado out in the middle of nowhere if you really wanted to. It also says right here, you open up holes in the atmosphere. These are holes where you send solar radiation through. You literally fry your enemy. Similar ionospheric heaters exist in Russia, Norway, and Puerto Rico, and many experts fear the worst when it comes to their potential for destruction. There may be one day where we try and control the weather a little bit too much, and we alter Mother Nature. If that's true, and there's no way to control it, we may one day face the wrath of planet Earth. When it comes to secret government conspiracies that affect our very atmosphere, None is more feared and talked about than all-time conspiracy number six, chemtrails. The crisscross clouds are becoming an everyday sight in the skies across America. And some scientists are terrified of their potential to do harm. Chemtrail, it is believed, is actually a chemical spray of some kind that the military could be putting into our atmosphere. Why? We don't really know. What? We don't know that either. Our government claims that all they're doing is spreading metallic oxides in the atmosphere. And it's for research purposes only, and that we're not doing anything damaging. So we have two opinions here on HARP. One is from the government. Oh, we're not doing anything wrong, pure research. And the other is conspiracy theorists saying the government is testing a weapon. From accelerating global warming to enacting biological warfare experiments, even conspiracy theorists themselves disagree about the real story. In 2001, four government agencies issued a joint report denying the existence of chemtrails, which only fueled talk of a cover-up. Well, they actually initiated a law that stated that the military could, in fact, spray these dead, quote-unquote, harmless spores into the atmosphere for testing. That's all on the books, and that's provable. Senator Dennis Kucinich introduced legislation which included language banning chemtrails in 2001. The reference to chemtrails was deleted, and the bill never even made it to a vote. If that doesn't smack of a conspiracy, I don't know what else does. Since the beginning of recorded history, the powerless have questioned the motives of the powerful. Which brings us to all-time conspiracy number five, the New World Order. I hereby declare this to be an unlawful assembly. We have before us the opportunity to forge a new world order. Secret societies made up of the rich and powerful from around the globe have long been accused of having a planet-wide hidden agenda to control the world. One of the most frequently mentioned groups is the Freemasons. When the stone was laid for the Capitol building, George Washington was there and he was in full Masonic garb. So the Masonic influence was there, but how deep it went, that's a big question. The symbols of this secret society are on our money and our monuments. From the capstone at the Statue of Liberty to the all-seeing eye in the back of our dollar bill, these symbolic references can be found throughout our culture. Why should people worry about a new world order, quote unquote? Well, they control the money supply, they control the military, they control the production of food, they control weather on the planet. The problem with the new world order is who's voting for it? Who's it responsible to? 
and how did it come into being? These secret societies may have different rituals and secret handshakes, but according to many, they all have the same goal, a new world order. Coming up, a conspiracy more than 2,000 years in the making and the startling new evidence that shocked the world. Unsealed. Conspiracy Files. Welcome back to the world of conspiracy. This is Unsealed Conspiracy Files. September 2012. A small piece of parchment reignites a millennia-old controversy. All-time conspiracy number four. Was Jesus married? If we're looking at a 4th century Coptic document, the document could very well be legitimate. For two millennia, the faithful and the fearful have debated the true nature of Jesus Christ and Mary Magdalene. The bigger question is, did Jesus have a wife and raise children or not? We don't know everything about Jesus. Maybe he did. If Jesus did have a wife and children, that means his bloodline could live on today. And that's a thought that makes many Christians very uncomfortable. Priests take a vow of celibacy in order to honor Christ. But if Christ actually had a wife, then one basic tenet of the priesthood becomes invalid. The recently discovered papyrus has been declared a fake by the Vatican. But that's just what a conspiracy theorist would expect them to say. 1947, a sleepy southwestern town, until one fateful night when its name becomes synonymous with conspiracy and cover-up. Coming in at number three is Roswell, New Mexico. Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Everybody knows about Roswell. On July 7th, residents of the town are startled by a mysterious crash in the desert. According to reports, soldiers, firemen, and locals witness a downed alien craft and what appear to be the ship's occupants dead. Radio and newspaper reports at the time confirm the incredible events. Army officers say the missile, found sometime last week, has been inspected at Roswell, New Mexico, and sent to Wright Field, Ohio, for further inspection. In the days that follow, the military changed their account of the incident. The first story was that the Air Force had captured a flying disc. Then they recanted the story just uh, half a day later and uh, came out with the fact that it was a weather balloon. Experts still disagree over exactly what happened that night. In our research, we've had over 600 eyewitness testimonies since then saying that this was not a weather balloon, that there were aliens that they saw. More than 60 years later, it seems the cover-up is intact and the controversy is only growing. April 30th, 1945. As Berlin was bombed to bits above him, the most reviled dictator in all of history took his own life. At least, that's what he wants us to think. All-time conspiracy number two, the death of Adolf Hitler. The official record says Hitler gave his wife Eva a cyanide pill and then shot himself in the head. When Hitler fell, the Soviets finally reached the bunker where Hitler and his wife had been hiding out. They found a burned body, it had been burned with gasoline. We know that the Soviets said that Hitler's dentist confirmed that it was Hitler's body with the use of his dental records. We really don't know if Hitler truly died or not in that bunker. Could Hitler have survived the war and lived on? Experts think it's not only possible, it's likely. Interesting story. U-530 was a Nazi German submarine that shows up in Argentina two months after the end of the war with no logs. U-530 proved that somehow they got out of Nazi Germany. They survived for two months at sea. Where did they go? Who did they have on board? Did Hitler himself somehow get spirited away and end up in Buenos Aires after the war? Recently declassified communication to FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover further inflames speculation. After Hitler's demise, there were many reports of sightings. 
the FBI ended up developing a, an extensive file of these things. The size of the FBI file suggests that the FBI thought that Hitler might be alive. FBI photographs from after the war depicting an aging Hitler with different facial hair lead many to believe the U.S. knew Hitler didn't die in the bunker. The evidence was there and it was coming in from all over the globe that Hitler was being cited. He lived for possibly years or even decades after the fall of the Third Reich. When we return, you've seen government cover-ups and alien spacecraft. If you think you know what number one is, think again. Unsealed Conspiracy Files. Welcome back to the world of conspiracy. This is Unsealed Conspiracy Files. The time to act is now. There are three simple steps you can take to unseal the truth. Follow on Twitter. Follow the Unsealed Twitter feed to receive breaking news of the latest conspiracies as they develop. Tell your story. What did you see that you shouldn't have? The government's known about it all along. Why has nobody told us? Upload stories and pictures to our interactive map. Join the movement. Get the unsealed bracelet and the unique code hidden underneath to access exclusive content. Stop living in the dark. It is definitely coming this way. Get involved in the fight to unseal the truth. Now. From weather control to mind control to flat out world domination. No conspiracy is more firmly ingrained in the American psyche than number one on our list. The JFK assassination. That conspiracy will never go away until we learn the truth. One ex-Marine, one rifle, two nearly impossible shots. The official position of the U.S. government? Oswald acted alone. Lee Harvey Oswald didn't have the skills to fire that rifle. The bolt action on that rifle couldn't have allowed him to get those shots off in such a quick succession. Was there only one shooter? There are as many theories as there are suspects. Of the Cuban community, the military, the oil industry, we could go on and on. We may never know the full truth about any of these stories. On the other hand, we might already know everything. That's what makes them the top 10 conspiracies of all time. Unsealed Conspiracy Files.